Once you have your EasyViz camera out of the box and you are ready to get it set up, what you're going to need is the EasyViz application. Download it from the App Store. Next, you're going to come into the application and you'll select the region you are in. There's an expansive list here that you can pick from any country. Now, I'm in Canada, and then they will require you to agree to their terms and services. Then you get a choice to register by email address or by mobile number, and you'll have to put in credentials as you would like them. Now, what will happen is you will get a verification by email if you've used that option, and you have to grab that code from your email and put it into the box. This just verifies that you do own that email. Now, once you've done that, they're going to ask for permission to take photos and videos so they can bring up the ability to scan a QR code. Now, I'm using the one from the manual, but every Easy Viz product I have used has a QR QR code physically on the device. Now you'll need to check that the device is powered on so you'll have to plug it in at that point and then you have to wait until the indicator flashes blue on your device. Next they will request location permissions that's actually kind of important so go ahead and allow it. Now they tell you you need to be within 1.5 meters of your phone, the camera and your router and then you have to put in the credentials for your Wi-Fi. From there, it will input those credentials into the camera and configure it to work on your Wi-Fi network. If it fails here, you're probably just going to need to try again. Now, the next screen allows you to save that QR code. I would go ahead and hit that Save button. You can also turn the audio on on your camera and adjust the device time so you never need to do that. You see that little check mark at the box though that says Free Trial? You're probably going to want to leave that on as well because this gives you a free seven day trial to their cloud play service which stores your videos on board now when you hit view device it will actually give you a prompt for a 30 day trial so you can extend to a 30 day trial by putting in some information in terms of a credit card now at that point you are into the basic application. The at home mode and the leaving home mode buttons allow you to turn on the alarms and turn them off. You have an events page and an account page where you can look at different components of your account like your subscription plan if you do decide to join them. Now the settings here, you have the audio button so this allows you to hear audio in recordings. You have a status light and then the alarm notification panel allows you to customize when and if you will get notifications from the camera when it sees someone. Night vision mode allows you to choose between color night vision, black and white night vision, or smart night vision, which allows it to switch between those two things. Now, with each choice here, you will have a different spotlight function on the camera show up. So play with those and get used to the way your camera is going to look when someone comes up to the camera or is seen in the viewfinder. You can adjust your time zone and the daylight savings and cloud storage and all those things. There's also image encryption, the ability to flip the image and a sleep mode as well as a user guide for each camera. Your camera might also have a few more options and settings in here depending on if you went and bought a C3X outdoor AI powered camera or you bought one of the indoor pen and tilt cameras like the C6N. If you do put the device into sleep mode then you will actually see that sleep mode is enabled. You can do that within if this then that as well and then you can tap to wake. Now in this screen you have a number of controls including the ability to turn on and off audio and that little button right there will actually turn on and show you four cameras on one screen. You can change the quality from Ultra HD down. You can also expand the video out, turn on an alarm for this camera so you will actually hear an alarm. You can also take a snapshot or take a video on the fly. And then down at the bottom, you can review the cloud play or the video history. This doesn't give you the full picture of what EasyViz is, but if you'd like to see our full review of this platform, go ahead and click on the link on screen to watch it on our main channel, Automate Your Life. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and of course, don't hate, automate.